Hi everybody, I'm popping in to make another update. Um, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a Happy Holidays all together. I was kind of hoping to make some um, update videos during the holidays, but we went home to New Orleans and nobody would leave us alone long enough for me to actually record a video. So I had to wait until we were back home and settled in and everything after the new year, so now I'm making the video. <laughs> um, so uh, starting off from my last video, I was waiting to test. Um, I ended up, uh, I did end up testing and I did get a BFN, a negative. Um, uh, my period did show up, which is always awesome for me when it comes to PCOS, at least it shows up. Um, <laughs> so uh, for being uh, one of my first cycles with um, red raspberry leaf and red clover, it was definitely a good one, really. Um, from the time that I started taking both of them, I, I noticed some changes. Um, the first two weeks on red raspberry leaf I did have cramping after every cup that I took and gradually the cramping got less and less and now that my body's used to it you know there's no uterine contractions anymore because my uterus is pretty much toned I think it's all beefed up now it's just being maintained um, uh, one of the big things that I did notice is that after I started taking both of them um, I started noticing um, changes things like my uh, cervical mucus and stuff like that which women can use to track their cycle and for me like with my PCOS and everything um, I had tried it before but it I wasn't regular it's all the time it was like fertile 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 it was like the ovulation kits every single day I got you know ovulating readings when obviously I wasn't ovulating it's, but um, it was pretty much the same thing. I kept getting the fertile cervical mucus when I wasn't. So I just started ignoring it. But during this cycle, I started noticing the big changes. And I was actually able to tell. I mean, it wasn't perfect. But um, let's see. On um, cycle day 18, 24, and 30, I got um, the egg white cervical mucus, the ovulating mucus. Um, which, I mean, you're only supposed to get it for like three days, but I think together or like two days in the middle of your cycle, you know, because that's right when you're ovulating. So um, we went ahead and we caught cycle day 18. We caught cycle day 24. We didn't catch cycle day 30 because Gavin went out into the field. And then, of course, you know, I tested and I got a, um, my negative and my period shows up and when I counted back it turned out that cycle day 30 was the magical day that we missed. So um, what was really awesome though um, when I got my period there was no cramping, no pain, no bloating and the bleeding was light to medium throughout the entire thing which was just amazing, which is what red raspberry leaf is supposed to do and take care of. But I just thought, oh my God, this is so awesome. You know, it was, it was really cool. Um, so uh, it was just great to get a period, but it was awesome that it didn't hurt or anything. And, you know, the, that I wasn't like dumping buckets and staining my pants and everything like I usually do. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was TMI. I'm just, I'm so used to talking about it. Um, so, uh, we, you know, when we went home, the first day that we got there was when my period started. So it was, and of course it was at my in-law's house and I was not prepared. So I had to do the walk of shame and ask my mother-in-law for, um, feminine products. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I'm so embarrassed. That has to be one of the most, like top three most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> Um, I continued to take the red clover and the red raspberry leaf the whole time that I was out there for the holidays. The only thing that sucks is that during the holidays, nobody sticks to their diet. And I mean, people in New Orleans, everything's deep fried and smothered in sauces and, ugh. <laughs> 
Um, so we had Christmas with my family, and um, we celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary on December 28th. So we've been married for five years and um, been together for six. And uh, we went to Christmas in the Oaks, which is um, New Orleans City Park is like this huge oak tree park. It's gigantic. It's miles. And um, they fill it with lights and they have the rides and everything. And I don't know, if, if you're on my Facebook, you've seen all the pictures. So um, then we celebrated New Year, and New Year's was when we started riding home. Uh, we made the long drive. It's like 20 hours. Back home to El Paso. Mm. And, of course, right after we got home, um, everybody knows New Year's. What do you do? You make New Year's resolutions. And one of the biggest resolutions, I am so going to work out every single day, and I am so going to diet. And, I mean, my entire year is filled with working out and... Um, I don't really want to say dieting, but I mean, I don't eat like everybody else does. So, but towards the end of the year, I kind of start waning off and every new year I start adding something new to the mix. So I started adding a, a new workout routines in and when we stocked up the groceries in the house, I made sure that my husband did not get any of his frozen hungry man processed meals that he seems to love um you know went went back with the organic and whole foods and everything and tried to minimize i don't think it matters what he eats anyway he's in the army i mean he works out every single day and he's got a size 32 waist i hate him he like eats chocolate 24 7 but it's just it's less uh teasing and you know tempting when he's not doing it so, um, so I started all the new stuff and everything. Um, January 10th is always a sad day for me. And I actually tried to record a video on January 10th and it was horrible. I was trying to talk and was crying and I ended up stopping in the middle of it and saying, I'm not going to upload this to YouTube. There's no way. But um, January 10th made exactly four years that we have been trying to conceive our second child. So it's four years of infertility. And I ended up writing a journal entry about it instead. Um, and it, it's, you know, something like four years ago was a really happy day. You know, our decision to have another child. And, and then three years ago was... A disappointing day because we'd been trying for a year and nothing happened but at the same time I guess it was a good day because then we moved on to you know specialists and then two years ago was a depressing day and I spent the entire day crying and just sad and then one year ago was just sad I just stayed in bed the whole day and didn't want to talk I didn't want to do anything. And then I wrote, today, January 10th, is just another day to mark on our calendar. I can't be sad anymore. I feel sad, but I just can't cry anymore. It's just another day. So, but I, when I made that video, when I tried to make a video for that day, I was just it was the one and only time that I cried throughout the day and the rest of the day I was like, it's going to be okay. It's just another day. So this is, and I have such an optimistic feeling for this year, you know. I feel like I don't feel that sense of impending doom <laughs> that I usually feel at the beginning of the new year. But anyway, um, so uh, this cycle, um, I added some new stuff into the mix, but um, it's doing a lot better than the last cycle was, and I've been able to chart everything, which is, you know, so cool. Um, I even started up a fertility friend account so that I could keep all my charting stuff on there. Um, I'd only ever had an account with them once when I was um, charting my temperatures, and of course, up, down, up, down, nothing. So I ended up getting rid of it, but I started it up again just so I could... Um, just so I could keep everything recorded. And 
I'm so excited because I am ovulating right now. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Gavin had to go back out into the field for training this morning, but we did the deed last night and the night before. So I, I think we're covered. <sighs> so I just have to wait two more weeks, two weeks. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just all excited. Um, so the stuff I added into the mix, um, I started taking inositol, which is uh, like the natural form of metformin. It's something that our bodies already make. And when we take metformin, it, um, it kind of makes us deficient in inositol. And since I'm not taking my metformin anymore, I figured there would be no harm in taking this because it's pretty much the same thing, only it doesn't have side effects and it's non-chemical. Um, 500 milligrams per capsule. I take uh, 1,000 milligrams a day right now because I was taking 1,000 milligrams of metformin. Um, and I take it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. I have evening primrose oil. I haven't started taking this yet. I'm going to start it next cycle at the beginning, you know, from cycle day one up to ovulation. Uh, it helps with, you know, mucus and friend, sperm friendly environment and all. Still taking the red clover. Sometimes I take the capsules. Some days I do the teas. Um, still doing the red raspberry leaf tea. I was ordering the herbs in bulk. <laughs> and my wonderful fur baby cat loves to climb into the cabinets and she decided she wanted to start eating my herbs. So, um, so I was so mad at her the first day I caught her doing, I'm like, you're eating mommy's stash. <laughs> um, but until I get a special herb cabinet or something, I'm looking at them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the teas for this or the, you know, the red clover capsules. Um, I went ahead, I originally did traditional medicinals. I started buying Alveda instead only because traditional medicinals is like $5.50 for a box. And one box, if you drink two cups a day, lasts only one week. Whereas this box is $6.50, but two cups a day lasts two weeks. And I do two to three cups a day, so I usually buy two boxes at a time. So I have that. Um, and then I started taking vitamin D. I take one of these a day. And um, this is mostly because women with PCOS are vitamin D deficient. And um, the last time that I had gone into the labs, they did tell me that I was vitamin D deficient. So I thought I would, you know, go ahead and... I mean, I live in the city of the sun. Technically, I could just, I don't know, walk outside or something. But the pills are so much easier sometimes. Yeah. So... Ah, yeah. Um, oh, also, I started taking um, ground flax seed and mixing it in my food. I take two to three tablespoons a day, and I mix it in with my, you know, my cereal with the almond milk, and I can mix it in with, like, spaghetti sauce, or I can mix it in my salads, and um, that is a big source of fiber and a really big source of magnesium, which are other things that, you know, we need. So, um, oh, and it's also, uh, flax is kind of the equivalent to evening primrose oil, I guess, but, hmm. So that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've been taking. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, if any of you with PCOS are, um, members of Soul Sisters, the website, and you've noticed that it hasn't been up and running, I'm, like, really upset about that. But um, apparently the owner, she hasn't been taking care of the website. And um, she got a lot of hate mail when the website, you know, went down again. And um, she emailed a moderator of another PCOS website saying that she probably won't even boot it up again because of the way that people have been acting. So we all moved over to sisterworld.com or .net. I don't know. It's sisterworld. Sis, like c-y-s-t sister world and it's another forum it's brand new so we're all um they have a whole soul sisters section for all of us that were members of soul sisters that went ahead and moved over there and um so uh if you're there look me up i'm kimmy me k-i-m-m-e-e-m-e-e -E -E -E, just like my youtube name and um yeah i guess that's about it hmm 
So I guess I'll be making another video in about two weeks or so, and we'll see what the test results say. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I was going to do this at the beginning of the video. I'm such a scatterbrain. I don't even have a cheat sheet this time. But um, Jamie, Jay Harshman, congratulations for you and your twins. I'm so happy for you. And it's, oh my God. I heard about it um, while I was on my Christmas break from um, another, uh, from Carla actually. And I was like, oh my God. And, and just, I was acting like such an idiot. And my husband's like, what, what's going on? I'm like, oh, you don't know her. <laughs> but um, congratulations. So I'm gonna keep watching your videos. Uh, oh my God. See, I can talk way too long. I talk too much. Well, anyway, I'll make another video in about two weeks. See you guys later.